Hello, hello, this is Mark Cashman. I'm a senior product manager here at Microsoft and very excited. This is at the tail end of launch week for the Microsoft Lists MSA preview. And I thought I'd just put together a sequence of visuals of how you can get engaged, things to try in the preview, and just to kind of get you warmed up and, and fresh on what is Microsoft Lists MSA preview. So first, I'm just here in a browser. I just am starting with Bing, and I can see that when the Earth's atmosphere gets excited, we're treated to this awesome glow show. So we're going to move from very green into lists. Uh, so first thing you want to do is type in lists.live.com. And that is going to take you to the new preview page that just tells you a little bit more information, kind of grounds you in, yep, we're talking about Microsoft 365. The product is Microsoft Lists. And this is the MSA preview. And to be real clear, MSA stands for Microsoft Account, which means your consumer or your, your personal profile. If you use this with Office.com, Outlook.com, um, OneDrive for personal use, it's all in that realm. Um, but it is based on that same MSA. So if you already have one, great, sign in. If you don't have a Microsoft account, then just create one, they're free, and then come back here and sign in. Either way, when you get here, if you go through the sign-in process, if you don't have an MSA, it's gonna prompt you for one, and if you do, then it's just gonna ask you what is it, and then when you sign in, you'll be on your way to getting into the MSA preview. So I'm gonna click sign in, and I am already an MSA user, and I've already gone to Microsoft List MSA Preview, which is what you're looking at right now. So um, the preview page, if you hit it, sign in or sign up and then sign in. Um, and also take a time to review what is this thing. If you don't know lists at all, then it's a really great uh, tour in terms of all the things that you can do and some of the experiences, a preview with some of these screenshots. If you like frequently asked questions, we've got a few down here towards the bottom. Uh, and it'll guide you through sort of the what is it and hopefully encourage you some of the things that I'm going to show you what you can actually do with this list preview. Uh, so once you're signed in, you are then free to use this. It is open and available at no cost during preview. And you can see here in my view, I've already created a few lists and favorited them. And of all the lists that I've created, I've favorited. So they're really the same set of lists. But you would see anything recent here. If I hadn't clicked the star to make it a favorite, then it would start to show here. And when we create one, you'll see what that looks like. Uh, so the first thing that I want to encourage you to do, once you're signed in and you kind of land on this list's home experience, signed in with your MSA, is create a new list. There's a lot of ways to create lists. You can create from blank. You can use an existing list. Or you can bring it from a CSV file or an Excel file that's been saved as a CSV file. So a lot of great ways to get started. Of course, the templates, if you're familiar with lists, we've got kind of quick start built-in ready-made templates across a number of different scenarios. And the team is kind of nodding around new templates and thinking about how we can bring those into the preview. But we're starting with these eight or the ability to create pretty much whatever you want. So we'll come back here because I want to show you one that I created just in a common scenario. We think people will use this. this is for clubs of all types, whether it's a book club, a movie club, or actually keeping track of club members and you want to track their information. This is just one example I put together of a book club with the nice little book emoji. I've favored it. And here, because I'm signed in as me, it's my list, uh, I haven't shared it yet, uh, I can go in and do whatever it is that I want. And the scenario here is there's a book a month that we're going to have in this book club. And we've kind of planned out through June, as you can see, a number of books starting in January through June. And I've yet to assign somebody to come and help me with this list. So the scenario here is that I would actually share this list item and or share the list. And then if I want to draw people in, I can add them as a member. So just for example, if I wanted to invite myself with my Gmail account, uh, I can type that in, and you can start to see that if I want to, I can then click that and start to bring in a collaborator, br bring in somebody who maybe is going to own what is the book choice of that month, and then they'll fill in the details uh, in terms of the for August or September 
uh, or going forward. And I looked like I put September twice. So this is just a blank one where I had a title column. I just used that for the title of the book. I added a couple of columns for author, an image column for cover, a time for the meeting that will be actually covering this book, genre of the different books that we cover, and the member or the person who's going to own driving who is going to be choosing the book for us all to then read. So that's one scenario. If I go back here, I also have a soccer team that I play on, and I've been playing for a while with this team. I have this one particularly in gallery view for two reasons. One is so you can see we support gallery view in the list preview, but also so that some of the other details, this is a real soccer team I'm on, and these are my real soccer teammates. Uh, and some of the information is private with phone numbers and emails that we're tracking. Uh, and also in here, I put in what position they play. So if I go in here, you can see the view that I've chosen is a view uh, for um, the gallery view. And you'll see the other information that I'm tracking. When I go in to edit the card, the players, what their name is, their photo, when they join the team, you can see I'm tracking cell phone, email. I even put in their LinkedIn profile. And I'll just add here the position that they played. So you can see that it's really a card just like gallery view if you've used this in the enterprise scenarios and we support of course gallery view in the Microsoft list preview for with your MSA so that's my soccer team and we're just tracking who's who what position and of course it's most important when we need to get together either for a game or for a time when we're going to maybe meet up and drink some adult beverages after a game something like that uh, so nice little scenario there Last uh, two scenarios really quick. I was just playing around with using kind of a yes, no column uh, for recurring grocery items. So imagine if I use this list and I had a bunch of stuff that I just always get or sometimes I get half of what I need. I could come in here and I could use the list uh, to see if it's something I want to get milk. Yep, I need milk. I need eggs, bananas I don't need this time, orange juice, you know, all the down. The other thing that I added, just as what makes it easier for me, maybe save me some time when I go to the grocery store, is I made a note of what aisle these items are in. So when I make my list, I can then go in here, and if I want to filter by just yes, now at the store I can see I just need these items, and I can quickly go aisle 3, aisle 4, aisle 3. And in fact, I can go from smaller to larger so that I can even streamline going to the grocery store picking up pasta first in aisle two, then milk in aisle three, yogurt is also in aisle three, eggs in aisle four, I'm out. I maybe will pass by the candy section and I am checking out of the grocery store. Last example, so you can kind of see these flavors, is I was just having fun today creating Listle, which is Wordle in lists. And even though this was mostly for creating a fun visual, if you've played the word the Wordle game, you'll see what I'm going after here. So I just put together a, a little bit of a, a couple of choice columns. And if I go into one of these, you'll see it's pretty rough and, and tumble. But over here, you can see I was just adding different choices so that I can make it look like I wanted it to look. But the, the key thing here is it's fun. And of course, we support choice columns. And just before I move into creating one from scratch, you can see that we support a lot of different column types. If you want just text, you can create number columns, yes, no columns, people columns, or person columns. That's important if you want to draw people in. Date and time, choice, hyperlink, image. And of course, you can create a lot of different columns left to right. You can go into gallery view. And of course, we support calendar view. So from the top level, uh, real quick, I just want to show you what it is to create a list. We'll first start a list from blank, and we'll just, just call this one that world example, hello world. And uh, we'll make this one a nice pink color, pig for pink, create. And just like that, I'm pretty much dropped into a fresh new list, uh, and I can add items. And if you notice, we drop you right into grid view in an edit mode, which is pretty new. Yeah, you can set that as your default, uh, or if you don't like that, you can change the default. So I've got a bunch of columns that I want to add, and if I add a new item, I'm just going to add this quickly, new item number one. I agree, and I'm going to add an image here. And I'm going to add one of these fun things that we were passing around today, which are some of these new backgrounds for Microsoft Viva. So 
that will upload and save and I should now have my one new item that I agree with and the profile pic is Viva with a bunch of skateboards over a couch. Uh, so that's my new list if I were to start blank and if you notice I now have that listed down here as a recent list but I haven't yet favored it so it doesn't appear up here. And I'll just leave it down here so we have a little variety. Uh, last thing is just the use of templates. If I go in and I want to create something uh, like a uh, work progress tracker, I get a sense of what that is. This is a full, full-fledged template. comes with predefined columns, and some of the ch columns are choice columns, and they're pre-populated with choices that I can update. And of course, they track other things as you would expect for different work items, uh, those things that you might. And we'll just call this the M. Cashman progress tracker and since I like the color green and maybe one day I'll hop in a rocket and check out the stars click create and now off of a template as you would expect all those things that are pre-populated for me are available of course no no actual uh, items yet I'll add one here so you can see the different uh, things that are pre-populated and filled out so I'll just put the first work item is I'm always working on myself uh, new and improved each day and I'm going to go and I'll make myself an engineer today. And progress is in progress, always in progress, never completed uh, when we're working on Mark here. And I'll make this a high priority. The start date is 4-12-1971. And hopefully no due date, no end date, and I will assign that to myself. Anyhow, you get the point. As I add more detail, you can see the formatting is already there, some of the details around how we want to organize this. And if you notice now, there are even pre-populated views. So this is the all items view. If I want to go, I haven't really created a bunch here, uh, and we're bringing this soon, this grouped by. Uh, so those aren't showing just yet. But if you notice, we've got a new tabbed experience for what will appear here is the different views. And if I want to go in and create a new view, I can do that. And you'll see we have this uh, new way to get started. I'll just create a quick gallery view and make it public. So now we see them as cards. Even if they don't have images, you can still make them cards. And you can still control how these, these cards uh, appear. And we'll put one in for a calendar as well. And we'll just use the calendar emoji. Pick calendar and I'll choose due date, click create, and now we've got on the M. Cashman progress tracker, we've got a nice calendar view, a gallery view, an all items view, and soon coming are even these pre-populated grouped by. So back to lists, you can see you can create a whole bunch of lists very quickly, leveraging the templates, a lot of the features that are built in and baked in, and some of the new experiences like tab views, the ability to invite people as you add them as a collaborator from within the person uh, column. And the last thing that I wanted to show you, uh, just to give you this quick tour, is if you're in multiple clubs as one scenario, I can go in and I've already created that book club and maybe I want to either create another book club or I want to create a soccer club or a movie club or but I like the formatting of my list I might call it something different and we'll do that with movies so what I'm gonna do is select an existing list and choose from my list that book club one click next and instead of book club we'll make this movie club using a different icon with movies and we'll make this one going back into the theater with the projector, choose a different color, and we will set this one uh, with a different icon as well. So now when I click Create, it'll give me that pre-formatted choice, choices that I've made for what I did with the book club, but here now in Movie Club, obviously, there are no items. So maybe I want to add uh, a new movie here, or this could be even for TV shows. Um, since the new Reacher series is coming to Amazon, I'll put in the Reacher movie. Maybe that's something that we want to review. And on down the road, I'll save some time here for you uh, just to assume I can go in and fill all of these things in. If I need to, I can change the titles of the columns. I can change even pre-populated fields. These are obviously more focused around books. I could quickly go in before I add items and change these all to movie themes, movie things. 
so we'll go in here and we'll choose uh, sorry thriller for reacher and you can see adding things very easy repurposing some of the things that you've already done in other lists is also very popular um, and I did say it was the last thing I'm going to share with you, but the, the really last thing that I want to show you is if I go in to something like this lists or list, the ability to share is pretty unique. Right now, uh, by default, you can share with anyone and they can edit, but you can remove the ability for them to edit so you can make it for just viewing. You can set an ex expiration date. You can require a sign-in. You can set a password. There's a lot of things that you can do to share your lists very publicly. Uh, so that everybody can see it, but nobody can make any edits, or everybody can see it, and maybe everybody can edit, or if anything, just work with the edit to the items, not the list itself. If you wanted to set an expiration just for a couple weeks to keep this list available, require a sign-in, yes or no, um, and then once you share this out, you can see anyone with this link can edit. So if I were to share this publicly, to tweet it out, to call for people to submit some ideas that I want to collect for just a, a personal thing that I'm doing, not at work, I could then take that uh, URL and share it out. And just so you can see it, they're pretty long, obfuscated type URLs. But when somebody comes in and hits it, they'll be invited right into the list as you were to share it. So a lot of ways to create, a lot of ways to share. You can work on lists just by yourself or invite family and friends. If you're a small business, there's no, uh, no uh, scenario that's out of reach. Encourage you to just try whatever it is that you need to try. Use it at no cost during the preview. Very easy to sign up, sign in, get started. And hopefully, uh, once you get to that point of creating lists, let me know what you liked. Let us know what you might want to be different, or if there are features that you come across, uh, you can always go in here and provide feedback. The team is reviewing these every day and very much looking forward to things that you like, things that you don't like, or if you have a suggestion, do not hesitate to let the team know. Have fun with the Microsoft Lists MSA preview, and I will see you in the future.